Hi, my name is Kyle Hosford. I'm the president of the Engineering Student Council here at UC Irvine, and this is National Engineers Week. Um, basically, National Engineers Week is it's a week-long celebration of the engineering profession. Uh, it's celebrated all over the country in engineering student groups put it on at every every school annually and it consists of a bunch of engineering events that are dedicated to engineers um, students faculty alumni industry the week consists of an engineer career fair um, we provide free food at a breakfast behind me you can see it, the e-week barbecue which is an event by the students for the students all the engineering student organizations work together to bring this to fruition and you can kind of see all of the excitement that's here we have competitions with prize money going on all week long some of them require you to build um, devices in advance where you can um, for instance a popsicle stick bridge you would build and we test it for strength other competitions just require you to show up and bring your ingenuity and you can potentially win some money right there on the spot for, for thinking the quickest um, this week is a great week to show people the importance of engineering and kind of remind people that engineers are there doing important things for the world Hi, my name is Yang Wing and I'm a fourth year mechanical engineering in, and our project is the autonomous underwater vehicle. So there's two challenges. The first one is underwater and the second one is making it autonomous. And to approach this problem, we have four subsystem, structure, propulsion, control and navigation and vision. And as a head of the control and navigation, I will talk about the control. So we have the computer and we program it in MATLAB to make it autonomous using navigation sensor and incorporate with vision system. Basically, what I'm in charge of is the thrusters and power. So we have some modified bilge pumps that we use for as makeshift thrusters, which actually significantly reduce the cost. And we have just some uh, self-made uh, power supplies, just batteries, uh, lithium ion, I think they are, uh, lithium ion batteries, uh, just to power all the electrical components and the DC motors. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm a mechanical and material science major. I'm a part of the structure team. Uh, right now we're working on three things, the heat sink to keep the processor cool inside the box, the frame, which we're currently working on there, down there is a template. It's going to be made out of aluminum and also the camera housing and waterproofing it so that there's no leaks and we don't break anything. Hi, I'm Jill Gluck, a fourth year computer science engineering major, and I'm on the vision team. Right now we're integrating MATLAB and C for line tracking and object detection to complete the tasks in the competition. This is the first year I was school entering this competition and it's very exciting to see mechanical engineering, electrical engineering and computer science working together to get, to get a smart vehicle. Thank you. Hi, my name is Matthew Chung. I'm a senior aerospace engineer working on the 2010 UCI cargo airplane project. Uh, the goal of the project is just to carry as much weight as possible and make the lightest plane possible. And uh, I'm currently the subsection leader on the tail section of the airplane. And that's just one of six sections on the airplane that goes into making it. So what we have on display here is our wing. It's about a 100 inch wingspan made of the Selig 1223 airfoil. Uh, this is in its intermediate stages right now. And as you can see, it's about 40, 40 or so ribs on the wing, glued together by uh, epoxy and just like an uh, aluminum spar. Hi, my name is uh, Mirno Shkandivia. I'm a mechanical and material science engineer. Uh, I'm Justin Carter. It's Justin Carter, another mechanical material science, and we have uh, Justin Lin. Uh, we're part of the Stand Assist Rehabilitation uh, Apparatus under Dr. Rankinsmeyer. Uh, basically, this device, in short, is to help uh, people with spinal cord injuries rehabilitate their lower appendages and uh, get um, blood flow and oxygen back into their lower limbs. Um, the device has been uh, in uh, we've been making it since last summer, and so approximately uh, 10, 12 months have gone into it. Uh, it's controlled through LabVIEW with a little uh, laptop. It's got a control system and a mechanical uh, system as well. 
And um, in short, it's, it's going to be tested hopefully with the clinic and uh, with patients. I am Rafael Bras, Dean of the Henry Samueli School of Engineering, and it's really truly a pleasure to be here uh, celebrating Engineering's Week. This is an activity that highlights the value of engineering to society, the value of education in engineering, and most importantly highlights the talents of our students who put it all together and make the week uh, an excitement opportunity of knowledge uh, and fun for everybody. Uh, engineering and knowledge base uh, education is the future, is the present and will be the future. Uh, certainly we at the University of California Irvine and the Henry Samueli School of Engineering are very committed to provide the very best education we can to all. Uh, and really through that education uh, improve the life of many we hope in the world. Thank you.